Hello, a very good evening to you. It is indeed Sunday, the 12th of February 2017. Nothing gets past me, and it's Scotty McClue with you live on the big one, Facebook Live. That's the one everyone's talking about. That's the one everyone is watching. Sunday night, of course, and it's great to be with you, dinky-doo. I hope you all watched the promo made earlier today, made about 2 o'clock this afternoon, just to let you know that I'd be on at at 10 o'clock sharp. Fantastic stuff. And uh, Jim McIntyre's watching. Brian J. Hemmings is watching. William Black's watching. David Lee Weir is watching. Jim Stephen Gibb. Fantastic stuff. And uh, James Forbes. Also, George Raffin's watching. Kevin Malcolm McGregor's watching. Andy McCrory's watching. Ron Stewart says, hello, Scotty boy. Hello to you. Julianne Scott's watching. Christopher Anthony Smith. Jim Clark. And uh, Andy McCrory, fantastic. Good evening, Dinky Do, Scotty, says Andy. Dinky Do to you, Andy, says me, Scotty. Lovely to be with you all, of course. Lots to talk about tonight. And thank you so much for a wonderful, wonderful week on Facebook Live. And, of course, thank you so much for sharing everything. And uh, throughout social media, not just Facebook Live, but throughout social media. And thank you so much to every single one of you who has come on to GoFundMe and contributed. We're now well up. I think we're at 255 pounds which is not bad early days remember the whole story is there so read the story watch the videos and then make a decision get your debit or credit card out and contribute to scotty mcclure at gofundme gofundme.com forward slash scotty hyphen mcclue Lots and lots to get through tonight, and uh, good evening, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Can't stay too long, sorry, the internet's down at the moment, says Julianne Scott. Ooh, Julianne, my internet's all right. James Kiddle's watching. Angie Thompson is watching. Did you do to you, Angie? Lovely to hear from you. Ian Walker is watching. Can I get a shout-out, bro? Says Finlay Houston. Of course you can, Finlay. Dinky do to you. And a big shout out to you and yours from Scotty McClue, live on Facebook Live. Mary Carty's watching. <coughs> Dinky do. Mary Michael McGuigan is watching as well. Fantastic. Everybody is here. The whole Facebook family. And of course, we'll have share points throughout the program. Maybe four of them when we go share, 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 share. Grant Elder GG. What's the subject tonight? The subject tonight, Grant, is are you having the life that you want? So there we are. And if not, what kind of life do you want? What are you looking for? Roddy Martin is watching. Dinky do to you, Roddy Martin. Lovely to hear from you. Laurie LD Dev watching up in Stornovy. Stornovach. Hey, Kabraha u Hakamachi, I say. Good evening, Scotty from Sunny Stornovy, says Laurie. Well, if it's sunny, you're doing very well. I was watching Tom Morton on Facebook Live. The number of stars that are on Facebook Live is increasing and increasing all the time because it's the new television. Brian J. Hemmings. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening, Brian J. Hi, Scotty, says Louis Faber in London. Hello, Scotty, and hello to, to Helen Lorraine Moore for me, please, says Mark Nicholl. Is it me, or is your equipment playing up again, says George Mullen? No, it's you, George. What's the subject tonight, says Steve? Well, I've already just said that. Hello, big man, says Brett Shepard. Dinky-doo. Robbie Baines watching. Giuseppe Bacchetti and three others have just shared the video. Fantastic. Jim Morris is watching. A life free of Glasgow's Eastern European beggars. Would suit me fine. Ah, you'll just get Glaswegian beggars taking over. Gaz Raleigh Jones watching, dinky do to you. Good evening, Scotty from Pollock, says John Douglas. Fantastic. Down in Pollock there. Hi here, loud and clear in Fife and Loch Gelly, says Brian J. Fantastic. So there we are. George has always got a wee complaint or something, something wrong with the equipment. Um, all that nonsense. Ian Cook's watching up in Dundee. Dinky do to you, Ian Cook. Lovely to know that you're there. Ian Cook, of course, one of our finest organists and pianists. And he's in Bonnie Dundee watching us. I want the life of a royal, an easy life. Uh, I wanted to be like Jacques Cousteau, but I can't swim, says Ian Walker. Ian, 
The life of a royal is not an easy life. If you would like to still be working at 96, if you'd like to be up at 5 in the morning and not in your bed till maybe 2, 3 the next morning, all that sort of stuff, you'd be better with an hotel, to be quite honest. But the life of a royal is very, very tough, and I would not seek that life, I shall tell you. In Northern Ireland, the night mate, says Ron Stewart. In Northern Ireland, they run. That's smashing, I say. Uh, Stephen Rooney's watching. Good evening, Scotty. From Shollins, says Derek McGonagall. It's Helen's birthday tomorrow. Can you give a dinky-doo shout-out, says Mark. Of course I can, Mark. I can always do a dinky-doo shout-out. Scotty, we'll do a cup of tea for you. Lol. I'll crack the joke, says Ian. <laughs> Richard Frediani is watching the finest news editor in the country. Watch out on your television after a news program. You will see Richard Frediani has um, been the editor. Hello, Scotty. I hope you're having a great weekend, says Dee Nelson. Dinky do Dee. Lovely to hear from you. Absolute rubbish. They've got it good. Parasites and leeches, says Robert Bain. Of course, knowing absolutely zero about a royal person's life. He just comes out with all this politics of envy. You've got it completely and utterly 100% wrong, Robert Bain, and I shall explain it for you. If you go onto YouTube, you'll see Scotty McClue explains the monarchy. Hodgie watching and listening in Bondi Beach again. This is Keith Hodgson. Hodgie in Bondi Beach. Fantastic. Dinky do in Australia. Scotty, can we start off with a wee tune for the squeeze box? That would be bra, says Jim Stephen Gibb. Perhaps a wee bit later, when people have settled in a wee bit, uh, Jim, I think, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's an acquired taste, Scotty McClue, on the accordion. Money's not everything, says Scott Farker. It is certainly not everything, I say. And uh, if you get on to GoFundMe, you'll see we're up at £255 out of the 275000 for the uh, studio equipment and the £5 million for the purchase of media assets. God save the Queen. Hoots Mon, says Christopher Anthony Smith. Absolutely, Chris. I had an inkling Warburton would go. I told you last week, says Mark Nichol. I know, Mark, but this is not the place to speculate. Gordon Sterling's watching through in the East Coast in Hayden. Ah, he's doing in Hayden there. Gordon's in Hayden. And uh, marvellous stuff that is. I know Hayden. Well, Gordon. I lived there, of course, as you know, for many a year. Uh, right, so who have we got? YouTube. Yes, fantastic, Shug. No bother. McClure, you're a royal apologist and a lackey. Old Lizzie's working you from the back, says Robert Bain. Not at all, Robert. I just have studied the subject very, very well. I haven't given you an opinion one way or the other. They do not need any apologies. I can tell you that. They do a fantastic job bringing in billions to the economy, and they cost you and I 52 pence a year. So that's rather good. Toto Franchiti is watching. Toto, good evening to you. Evening, Scotty, says Dave Hemsley in Staffordshire. Fantastic. Alex Robertson's watching. One of our finest young actors. Dinky do, Alex. I hope you are well and on the mend. Margaret Bonner. Hi, Scotty. It's frozen the night. And two kisses. Absolutely, Margaret. I've got my vest on under this. With that colour combo in your tie, you'd think you support the union. And um, no, not at all. I used to be a staunch unionist, but of course, once Mr. Blair got into power on the 1st of May 1997, that was uh, virtually the end of the Labour Party as we know it. I know they had a, a rally and enjoyed themselves and all that. The clue, would you like to buy a limo? Says Gordon Sterling. I've got a limo, Gordon. You can only drive one limo at a time or sit in the back of one limo at a time. Are you selling me a limo? That's fantastic. A great big black limo. I think I've seen a picture of this. Is this a Volvo? A gorgeous Volvo from Gothenburg in Sweden? Yes, yeah, very nice. Uh, I wouldn't mind a shot of that. Uh, Robert Kincaid's watching. Dinky do, Robert. Lovely to hear from you. What do you think I should buy her for her birthday? Helen Moore, she's 56. Just give her a bit of love. As I uh, said this morning, the missus said to me she wanted something to brighten the place up a bit, so I've got a tin of brassel. Scotty, stop patching me, says Charlie Houston. <laughs> Blair gambling with public money, says Louis Faber. Well, they're all gambling with public money. Remember, governments have no money. All the money comes from us, from you and from me. Uh, Scotty, did you get the life you wanted? Remember, it might end abruptly, so be careful with your answer. I've always had the life I wanted, Ian, because I'm interested in people 
rather than money. And that's the secret to a happy life. I've only met one bad person in my life, and uh, he knows who he is. Uh, Darren Kelly, are you watching? Says Ron Stewart. Dinky do. David Russell's watching. Dinky do to you, David. I think everybody's watching. It's fantastic. Now, just a wee catch up for those of you who haven't got your ear to the ground, for those of you who are not listening to the word in the street. Uh, we've reached well over 100,000 viewers to Scotty McClure's programming. Sean Finley's watching. Joanne Menzies watching. Dinky do, Joanne. The smoking's killed the pubs, and now the government are on about putting beer up again. What's your views? Well, I don't drink beer anymore, Steve. But uh, I have to say, I think people need to have a pint or two and a bit of chat. That's what it's all about. You care about the BAFTAs, says Louis Faber. Of course I care about the BAFTAs, for goodness sake. Every actor, writer and broadcaster would care about the BAFTAs. Uh, keep your eye out, by the way. Have you been at the red carpet tonight? Money's the root of badness, says Angie Thompson. Yes, unless you're using it for something useful, like a radio station for uh, the good burgers of Scotland. I said this last time, we need to get Scotty and still game as Jack Jarvis's brother. Hello, Jack. How are you getting on? Do you remember Mother used to say to us? Ah, oh, shut your face yourself. Scotty, you've patched me again, said Charlie Houston. What are you on about, Charlie? What nonsense are you talking? What is patched? Uh, Scotty, sorry I'm late, says Sandy Hiding. I was reading a post about my mate who died a year ago after a postponed operation. Absolutely, Sandy. Yes, I'm so sorry to hear that. No problem at all. And uh, no need to apologise. You're very welcome, Sandy. Um, dinky do, Scotty. What is the topic tonight? I've just joined you. Well, what we're talking about is have you got the life that you want? And if not, why not? What sort of life are you looking for? There we go, dinky do. The, what prompted me to discuss this subject? Uh, I was having a wee bit of leisure time last night, so I popped on the telly. Uh, Scotty, I've shared. You're a lovable legend. It's freezing cold out there, says Mark Nicol. Woohoo! It is. Um, so I was watching um, the channel last night, and Liberace, a film about Liberace, came on. Louis Faber says, I don't think Smokey's killed the pub trade. I know Smoking Ban has come in. I didn't see that. Wouldn't it be great if you could go into a shop and come out with a new life? I think Mr. Ben said that. I know I've met Mr. Ben, Tony Ben. Wonderful man. Met him at a rally in Barnsley. So there we go. Met him at a rally in Barnsley. Fantastic. Beautiful uh, May Day morning. My old job as a projectionist, says uh, Adam M. Fuller. Absolutely. Changing the films. And Adam, you'll know about the cinema cues. Looks like a wee white polo mint that shoots by. The audience are virtually oblivious to them. But of course, McClure knows that from working in television. Telly Cine. Michael Yule's watching. William Patterson's watching. Wadge. How was your day, says Wadge? Wadge. My day was absolutely fantastic. I recorded a promo this afternoon, so you'll be able to see that. So get a look at the promo and share everything. Everything you see with Scotty McClure on it, get it shared big time. Because Facebook Live is fast becoming the new television. And I can see very little point in radio and television stations with the rate that this is taking off at. We have in front of us, folks, the most wonderful gift of communication in our hands. William Patterson's watching. James Michael Harvey and 10 others have just shared the video. Have we, is it time? Oh, it's just coming up. It's uh, 14 minutes past 10, according to my clock here. Let's call it quarter past. And we'll have a share point. Share, 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 share. I want to be a shock jock. I've got the face for it. Mark Conway, are you on medication, Scotty? I read an article the other day. It says 45% of men on some kind of medication. Just the hot chocolate. Uh, I've got two cold shoulders. I can hardly move. What's the remedies for this, says Mark? Warm them up. I say, Mark, you don't want the cold shoulder. I remember going out with a lassie. She gave me the cold shoulder. After university, I panicked and started applying for anything and everything. For me, it was important to get the experience and a foot in the door. First, then gain experience and exposure to the world, says Louis Faber. Absolutely, Louis, that's fair stuff. There's more to read, but it's moving so fast today. Hi, it was freezing today. I think some of the single mothers, having so many kids, have got the life they want. Let's win Indy 2, and then we shall have 
the life we want in Scotland. Certainly, absolutely. Stop, stop Scotland getting robbed. A bad day at the tiny, the day Scotty Sandy Hound says Tyne Castle, way down at Tyne Castle. Oh, this is my story, this is my song. Gone yourself, Scotty. Shields says Margaret Bonner. And Gordon Rich is watching Dinky Do Gordon. A very warm welcome to the Scotty McClue Show, live on Facebook Live, the big platform, the one that everyone's watching and the one everyone is talking about. Indy too. Didn't he make me laugh, says Sandy Howden. Yes, uh, Labour. <laughs> Didn't he make me laugh, Sandy. Uh, hello again, Scotty. Hey, yup, young Scotty. Roy from Nottingham. The man who stopped David Williams' heart live and Britain's got talent, says Roy Brownlow. Dinky do, Roy. Britain's got talent. Mind the sweeties, calls for Newcastle, says Angie Thompson. We I man, says David Russell, is of the San Newcastle man. A Jody, I was in a pub in Newcastle and a guy said to me, Are you always looking at us? I says, How many grammatical errors can you make in one sentence, la? Uh, any news about going more than once a week, Scotty, says Steve Burroughs. Steve, there's all sorts of things. I've told you there's very, very, very high level talks going on about McClue at the moment and the future. I have attended some of them. You would not believe the people that are there. And, hmm, I can't say anything just now. Scotty, watch your username on Skype so I can call you mate. No, don't call me mate. No, 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 we don't go in for that. That's an English thing, I think. Is it racist to do foreign accents, says Louis Faber. Um, it depends, Louis, what you're actually doing. You know, if you're complimenting somebody. Cold and killy this weekend, says Kevin Malcolm McGregor. I was out with some fellow Labour comrades doing a community clean-up yesterday morning. Rewarding work, but drinks, it was freezing. It would also be quite thin in the ground. It's quite difficult to find Labour people these days, isn't it? Uh, Jim, Stephen, Gibb and 14 have just shared the video. Fantastic. Scotland would go broke if it goes independent. SNP can't deliver the promises. What chance have we got? Sean Finlay, I have never heard anybody talk so much nonsense in all my life. You'll probably find the SNP have delivered on everything. And anything you think they're short of, anybody would be short of. Plus, independence is not about the SNP. That's not what it's about. Independence is about independence. It's not even political. It's economical. And Scotland gives £40 billion to Westminster, to the Exchequer, and gets a little bit of it back. The Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer's day. It's Michael McGregor and Scotty, get back on the telly, says Stuart McFarlane. Wadge says, share Neil Tipping's watching. Neil Tipping down in the northwest there, one of the finest, finest, lovable laddies of the big switchboard. One of the finest wizards of the big switchboard, Neil Tipping. Uh, Lonnie LD, I might not have everything in life, but I'm more than happy in my life in Stornoway. Better than it's ever been. 13 months off the booze. Fantastic. Who would win a Labour leadership? Michael Foote versus Jeremy Corbyn. Says Louis. Louis, Michael Foote has passed away. Why are Geordie's children confused when their parents want them to come the show? Right, get away! Get away! Scotty, can you see a big shout out to my granddaughter, Sarah? She's listening with me, Sarah. Sarah or Sarah Bonner? Listening with Margaret. Kiss, kiss. Well, her name might not be Bonner, of course. It's Sarah. Uh, big magic convention in Blackpool next week. 5,000 magicians. For goodness sake. I hope they don't make the place disappear. Uh, Kevin Malcolm McGregor, SNP, MSP seems to be um, short. Well, we're not going into that. You teach them, Scotty, says Shug McGinty. Aye, that's what I'm doing, Shug. People always say, what, I mean, what is McClure? Is he a funny man? Is he a teacher? Is he an academic? Is he a politician? Is he a current affairs man? I'm everything, everything. That's the beauty. They promise not to raise council tax, and they've promised to stop austerity cuts, but they've not. They were relying on fuel, whiskey, and trident, says Sean. No, no, no. The austerity cuts are coming directly from the Conservatives at Westminster. Get that into your head, and do not lose sight of that. Do not take your... 
your, your eyes off the ball because of the roar of the crowd. I still can't get your live programme to run, says George Mullen. George, everybody else can, so I'm sorry, dear. You'll need to invest. <coughs> Wad says, all in one. Lols. <laughs> it is Bonar, says Margaret. Yes, Sarah Bonar or Sarah Bonar. We'll say Sarah, if that's all right. So Sarah Bonar, dinky do I say. Guys, uh, we'll be having a share at half past. What is the time? It's 20 past already. Now, the time flies when you're enjoying yourself. And Old McClue's just here for one hour a week. So get your act together. Get sorted. There's a wonderful promo done for you today. Make sure you watch that as well. And uh, who have we got? That was not a proper apology, says Sandy. Uh, what are you on about, Sandy? Talking nonsense. Nothing wrong with the live feed. It's working fine, says Adam M. Fuller. Shug McGinty has shared. Thank you, Shug. Share, 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 share. If you're watching for the first time, if you're a, an alien life form from another planet and you've just found us and you think, what on earth is this on Facebook Live? It's Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster just for you, dinky doo. Now, I've only got the 40 years experience, so you'll find me a little bit thin on the ground when it comes to stuff, but never mind. Um, no bad Kev, says Stephen Brown. Alex Carroll has shared. Thank you, Alex. That's a wonderful thing to do. I think I'll have a, <coughs> a wee sip of tea, dears. Um, Alec Lindsay, uh, marvellous. Hi from Ireland, Scotty. You're a top man. And so are you, Alec Lindsay, over in Ireland. Whereabouts are you? When are you coming back to the radio shows, Scotty, says Joe Ryan. Well, there's a lot of talk of this, Joe, because uh, McClue has only scratched the surface. Hi from Montreal in Canada, says Heather Gold Basmagian. Basmagian. There we are, Heather Gold Basmagian. Hi from Montreal in Canada. Fantastic, Heather. Dinky do. Je regrette, mais je ne parle pas français. Très vite. Si tu parles lentement, peut-être je comprends. Good evening, Scotty, says Esther Hart. And two kisses. Good evening to you, Esther, my dear. 41 years, Scotty, to be precise, says Larry Faber. Okay, 41 years experience of the media, but I still haven't scratched the surface, and we've got another 25 years to do. Uh, Helen Lorraine Moore loved her mention. I thank you totally, says Mark Nicholl. John Paul Preston is watching. The very, very generous John Paul Preston, who has contributed to Scotty McClue's GoFundMe page. I thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you also to the lovely Heather Carr, who has contributed. Thank you to Laurie Lever, who has contributed. Tremendous, all of you who have contributed. Thank you, of course, to Alan, who contributed this morning. Very, very good of you. Alan Brown, superb. What was your favourite saying your parents used to say to you when you were a kid, says Steve Burroughs? What did my parents say? Things like, I experience as a great teacher, but he asks a high price. True. Heard of beauty, I think I maybe told you. It depends when you want to retire, says Louis. Louis, people like Scotty McClue do not retire. Don't be ridiculous. Scotland unlucky today, Scotty, says Ian McCune. Oh, absolutely. It's always just luck when we lose. You're most welcome, Scotty, says John Paul Preston. We're up, John, to about £255, I think, or £265. £265, I think, when I last looked. And uh, <clears throat> keep donating and donating and donating, folks. If Scotty McClure has ever put a smirk on your face, a smile on your pus, then go to www.gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClure and stick in a few quid. 80% want to keep the pound, Scotty, says Sandy Howden. We can keep the pound, Sandy, not a problem. You know, because 72% want independence anyway. So uh, that's most of the people wanting to keep the pound. Uh, good evening, Scotty. I'm running late. What have I missed? Says Charles McLachlan. Charles, you have missed 25 minutes of the finest broadcast program ever. So there you are. 41 years. Did you start at five, Scotty? Says Roy Brown. Of course, Roy. Started very young. Had my first radio station at age nine. I built it. Anyhow, brilliant to have you back, big guys, says Sean Finlay. 
I'm sending you five bobbies, says Ian Walker. Five bobbies would be two and a half old pennies. So that's about one P, just over one P. If you fall and break your leg, don't come running to me, says Margaret Bonner. That's right. Yes, uh, you know, if, 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 if you die, I'll kill you. That was what they used to say. Wasn't it? <laughs> if you fall off that and kill yourself, I'll murder you. That's what they used to shout to me once. Ridiculous. Hi, mate, says Alan Maitland. Scotty, are you a Savage? Says Charlie Houston. I don't know what a Savage is, Charlie, but um, I don't think so. It's certainly not one I've been called before. Uh, no, you cannot keep the pound, Scotty. Good try this, Sir Sandy. And of course we can keep the pound. Sandy, you're forgetting we can do what we like. If Scotland becomes independent through economics, it can do what it likes. And, you know, a former governor of the Bank of England said it was absolutely fine. So there you are. Shitem, Scotty, says Heather Gold, Buzz Magian. Ah, shitem, Cherie. Mwah. And uh, George, we've all shared. What's it? Oh, share, share. Share, share, share. share. We've all shared. Um, 26 minutes past. We'll share in four minutes. Scotty. Can we wish my daughter Robin Carroll happy birthday? It's going to be a big four tomorrow, says Alex. We, Robin Carroll, happy birthday, darling. Four years of age. Have you heard your ma saying, I've got a washing to frighten the French? Well, now, Ian, I wonder why they said that. A big washing. Obviously, it, it looked like flags flying to those trying to come across the channel to invade. Sandy, when will you learn? says Shug McGinty. Absolutely, Sandy. You're coming out with all this nonsense, which was great in 1945. I think you've heard your papa talking about Labour, and you've taken all that on board, and you're trying to flog that as, as gospel now. No, no, no. No can do, Sandy, my boy. Adam Fuller says, if a cup weighs one cup plus the weight of another half cup, how much does a cup and a half weigh? I would have thought the same. Adam, just going off the top of my head from my, my Mensa questions. Scotty, tell my ma, Mrs. Mandy Burns, to get herself out of your page and enjoy the show, says Sean Finlay. Why can't we go back to pounds and ounces? Well, maybe we can. If we leave Europe, I mean, there won't be many pluses about leaving Europe. I can tell you that right now, but one of them might well be... Um, that we go back to pounds and ounces. Avoir du poids, weight in French, very European. But uh, pounds and ounces, yes, and stones and hundredweights and tons. Can anybody remember? There was uh, 14 pounds in a stone, eight stones in a hundredweight, 20 hundredweights in a ton. Now, how many roods were there in a chain and how many chains in a root? It was fake news. The French didn't wash, says Ian Walker. Oh, I see. Why, um, yes, yes, I've got you now. Yep, says Adam Fuller. I don't know what you're saying yep to, but you're saying yep. If Scotland goes independent, we could also use a cryptocurrency such as the Bitcoin. Yes, absolutely, John Paul Preston. Um, not a problem at all, because we haven't really used the euros anyway. But all you would need to do is a pound Scots. It worked fine in Ireland. If you were in Northern Ireland, you had uh, the pound sterling, and if you were uh, down in Ireland itself, you had the pound, the pound. Uh, so there you go. And uh, of course, the folks they tell in the summer. I mean, I knew what they were doing, but they would say, "I can only give you one for one. I'll give you one for one." And they were doing extremely well. So there we are. How much is your council tax going up by Scotty? Despite despite them promising to scrap it. Uh, so there you are. Why, it's certainly going up, Kevin. But anyway, as long as it's well used, that's what I say. Uh, part, part, part in French, says Roy. Very interesting. Not sure what you're meaning by that, Roy. We need a longer explanation. Right. If you've just joined me, you're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. Now, there's a match made in heaven, I say. And it's share time. It's uh, just coming up to half past ten. So there we are. So share, 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 share. 
Shall we have some music to share by from the uh, from the squeeze box? You know, a little bit of music to to let's see what we can do. See if I can <laughs> see if we can get you some music to share by. Um, what could we have? by don't change the way i'm still asking for uh, a slice of corned beef in the butchers old school a cpl slice of corned beef what are you giving us there yes yes we used to get two ounces of sweeties does anybody remember buying two ounces of surplums fantastic the dark island please says Louis Faber. Absolutely. Nice music, Scotty, says Catherine Scully. Just throw some music to share by, Catherine. And uh, Jimmy Shan, says Michael McGuigan. Oh, I wish. I wish. He was fantastic, Jimmy Shan. A wonderful, wonderful man. And uh, you look sinister when you're playing that, says Adam Fuller. That's me, yes, absolutely. Uh, a broad tune, Scotty, says Jim Stephen Gibb. Uh, a couple, oh, a couple of slices. Couple, couple couple slices yes i've got you now a couple of slices of corned beef please so there you go what's the most dangerous thing you've ever done what we better corned beef for that corner shop you're some man scotty a fantastic talent you have says brian j hemmings i thank you sir i salute you uh good stuff though yes sewer plumes and lucky tatties you ever bought them now the lucky tatties were interesting and um, they were a kind of sweet they had did they have cinnamon on them i think a lucky tatty i think that's cinnamon on them uh open to tyree ferry says louis Faber. yes of course fantastic part is french for sheer scotty so there we are so part to part to part something to part your hair to share your hair i'll tell you a joke about four pets scotty says sandy howden tremendous absolutely and uh, what else have we got come on come on come on let's uh, let's see what you're all up to uh, i left my accordion in my car once i came down in the morning and someone had smashed the car windy and when i looked in there were another four accordions <laughs> smp smp i think you mean snp all the way scotty for me and two kisses from margaret bonner well as you know i'm not a political animal margaret and we're not really a political program, but we do like to uh, keep up to date with what's going on. We like to know what the word in the street is. That's partage for sharing in French. Partage. Yeah? Oui, oui, je comprends. Uh, can you play the muthi, says Hugh Simpson? Yes, I can, do, but I don't have a muthi on me. But I will get you one, and I will play you the muthi. The Tories want Scottish independence secretly. Because that will ensure an English Tory majority for generations, says Louis Faber. I think uh, nobody's bothered about it. It's it's nothing to do with Scots and English, Louis. It's purely to do with a change of management up here. So we're running our own affairs, uh, keeping all the money and accounting in Scotland. So that means an extra 40 billion quid for the um, Holyrood coffers right away. Uh, before you've even touched your oil and your whiskey and all that sort of stuff. Any snow, Scotty, says Roy Brownlow. Uh, we had a wee flurry earlier, and I think it's going to snow because it's so cold in Scotland at the moment. I mean, it really is cold. That sort of cold that gives your skeleton a wee touch, you know. Ha-ha, mind the lucky tatties with plastic toy soldiers in them. You'd really get away with that now. No, you wouldn't because somebody, a wean could swallow them. Scotty, I know you're not a political animal, but if you were, I believe you would be vicious, says John Paul. <laughs> John Paul Preston. Well, I think I wouldn't put up with any nonsense, so people would get the truth. But I would probably need to be an independent member of Parliament, because otherwise the whips would get round and say, Now, McClue, you do not open your mouth. You let the leader answer that. You answer nothing. We'll write down a question for you to ask. You will ask the question and then sit down. Do you understand? Yes, 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 whip. Yes. 
all that sort of stuff. So there you go. Mary G. Warner's watching. Tell Ben to come Ben. If Ben doesn't come Ben, tell Ben to Ben that we'll be Ben to bring Ben Ben. A wee Glasgow saying, says Ian Walker, absolutely Ben. Ben the hoose, come through the house, come Ben. Take, take the dog, Ben, the now there, because say, uh, here's Auntie Fanny coming. She's no good with dogs. Take the dog, Ben. Snow in Cumbria on Heartside Pass, says Dave Elwood. Do you know, it's interesting. Over my 40 years of show business, I spent my nights travelling, my days working, and my nights travelling. Well, I say working. I mean, I can't be bothered with people that talk about, oh, work so hard, work so hard. If you love what you're doing, you don't do any work. But I just sort of was engaged all the time. And I'd be driving through snow coming over the uh, the pass at uh, into Appleby, that road there. Uh, the people should be the whips, says Louis Faber. Very good. Glad you're on tonight. We've over 100 channels and there's nothing on. We need more educated shows like yours, says Steve. Burroughs, Steve, this is absolutely the message I'm getting across to the nation. I've phoned a couple of television companies now and said, you should take the Scotty programme at night. Oh, it's, it's, it's not something we'd thought of. We're looking more at, at, at kind of core programming at the moment, Scotty. You know, they sort of pat you in the head, you know, away you go, you old fool, all that stuff. But of course, this is what the people want. McClure knows that because he knows his audiences. Where's George with the yes sticker? says Sandy Howden. The stacks of yes stickers, Sandy. 72% of people have got yes stickers. What's happening to the barras? They're disappearing. <laughs> Scotty McClure, Scotland's answer to the UK's Dennis Skinner's is Roy Brownlow. Whether you agree with Dennis Skinner's politics or not, he's, uh, he's very, very bright, very, very clever. And, uh, and I find him highly entertaining, actually. Okay, mate, just hope you're okay, mate, says Roy Brownlow. I don't like all this mate stuff unless you're actually in the Navy with me, or you are a metalo, a metalo. Uh, mind my grand saying, going to put the big light on, said David Russell. Yes, you put on the big light. The overhead light was the big light from the days from the gas light, I think. And does anybody old enough to actually remember Leary the Lamplighter, the Lichty in Glasgow, going by? So there we are, lovely, lovely poem by Robert Louis Stevenson about Leary the Lamplighter. Oh, Leary, see a little child and wave to him tonight. And uh, I can remember seeing the lamplighter going round in a wee ladder, and he popped into the close and got the gas going. When we go independent, do you think we should build a new wall, Scotty? Says John Paul Press. No, John, I'm not one for walls. Going independent is, um, you know, it's, it's all got out of proportion. It just means running everything from Hollywood. You probably wouldn't even notice the difference apart from the fact that life would be more positive and the Scots wouldn't be kept in poverty and the children would not be starving and things like that. Do we still have a Navy base off the coast of Cyprus these days? Says Louis. Well, of course, the Navy can get uh, everywhere quite quickly. John Toms is watching. A very fine fellow, great businessman, John Toms. Uh, we'll pay for it, John, a big wall says Shug McGinty. No, you don't need a wall. Not a mate, but therefore my captain, says George Raffin. Dig you do to you, George. And it uh, will make Westminster pay for the wall, uh, John, says William Shepherd. Roy says, Scotty, you've got to get up to date with today's lingo, like mate and bro. We're American. No, no, bro is absolutely fine. I have many bros. Uh, we're certainly far from American. And you will not get Scotty McClure wearing a baseball cap, I can tell you that. Uh, we're Europeans. They had girls and boys, lucky potatoes. I always got a soldier in mine. And uh, cry all my stop, bang them for me, says Margaret. And cry all, all the, get my ma to stop buying them for me, lol, and two kisses. What do you really want, Scotty, is Devo Max, says Louis Faber. Well, Devo Max to the point when Westminster have no say, really, in what goes on in Scotland. Miss the old coal fires, great heat off them, says Brian. Once they got going, Brian, does anyone remember the paraphernalia that went with the coal fire? The coal, the sticks, the kindling, twigs. Um, anybody remember an electric poker? <laughs> you plug this thing in and it sent a flame into the coal and heated the coal. It's uh, a bit long, but it's safe. 
three guys meet in a pub, they don't know each other, they've just met, the first guy says, guess what, my name's George and I was born on St George's Day. Really? See more. Uh, says Adam, come on. I was born on St George's Day. That's amazing because my name's Andrew and I was born on St Andrew's Day. They both ask the third guy, is your name Patrick? And he replies, no, it's Pancake. <laughs> like it, Adam. Much funnier than you think, actually. I shall uh, tidy that up and use it. The wife's just come into the kitchen, Scotty. Give a shout out to Maggie from Basford in Nottingham. Of course I can. Maggie me dokes, dinky do from Scotty McClue, like to Nottingham, you know. Uh, I have Devo Max with my whiskey, says Ian Walker. <laughs> and they've got electric and Wi-Fi in Bathford now, says Roy Browner. Oh, yes, the electric light, they'll be loving it. Putting it on and off. Can I hear you, Scotty? You're stuttering, says Sandy Howden. Scotty never stutters, Sandy, particularly when talking to you. So there you are. So I think your equipment's needing brought up to date, Sandy. Did it come in with the Labour Party? Uh, my name's Roy, and I was born on my birthday, says Roy Brennan. <laughs> uh, I knew somebody who was quite big, she was quite a big woman, and uh, her birthday was the 20th, and the 21st, and the 22nd. Uh, do you think Jesus had the life he wanted? Now, Ian, that's a very, very big question. Jesus certainly, he certainly started off with the life he wanted, and... Um, if you believe, if you're a Christian and you believe that he dwells among us in his risen power, then um, perhaps, yes, he not only had the life he wanted, but the everlasting life. He that believeth in me, said the Lord, shall not die, but shall have everlasting life. What do you think of Americanism such as cookie instead of biscuits creeping into our vocabulary, Scotty? Not creeping into my vocabulary, John Paul Preston. A biscuit's a biscuit. Shug McGinty has put on a Scotty McClue YouTube. My granddaughter still wants his bonnet back, Scotty, says Lisa Innes. Well, he can't have it, Lisa. It's on long-term loan to Scotty McClue, granddaughter's bonnet. Let's start. Is it time for a share? Oh, it's coming up. Three minutes, we've got a share coming, folks. Fantastic. Now, remember, when I have to pop off at 10 o'clock, make sure that you share and share and share and share and share every single one of you during the week please never ever 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 get fed up with scotty mcclue share and share and share please go on to go fund me and stick some money in with your debit card go fund me forward slash scotty hyphen mcclue but you'll see the links on facebook what do you think of uh, the new labeling on a certain brand of whiskey says william shepherd i haven't seen it william but i'll have a look at it and uh, there you are. Roy Brown says, do you think Prince Charles goes to McDonald's? Um, I don't know. You'd need to ask him. Hello, it's the Charots again, Scotty, says Hector McGoobligan. Louis Faber says 11. 11. 11. I thought that was something that you said in a voice-activated lift in Glasgow. 11. I'm putting the battle, says Margaret Bonner. Shreer, shreer time. Share time, says right. Yes, it is. It's share, 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 share time. And also use your Facebook. Type in a wee note to all your followers and say, Are you watching Scotty McClue right now? And put the link in. Right click on the page and put that link in. Come on. Start using social media properly, and then you will find that this program will just go bigger and bigger and bigger. It's already global, and I love when folk laugh. The doubting Thomases that laugh and they go, ha, him, global? Oh, have you heard it? Would, would you listen to it? And then folk come on from Australia and America and Africa and India. Scotty, what would you say to people that denounce the Holocaust? says Ian Walker. Well, very strange. I mean, obviously, a lot of people died in the death camps. So, uh, uh, you know, but you, we did not live through it, but a lot of people did. And uh, I can remember watching Holocaust survivors on the telly. 
Shared, shared, says Angie Thompson. Shared, says Margaret Bonner. Hi, just came on and you froze, says Alec McCafferty. Maybe you gave me a fright, Alec. Um, William Shepard and 33 others have just shared the video. Let them know that we appreciate, appreciate, appreciate. 45 exactly. Where'd you get your bonnets, Scotty, says Hector McGoobligan. This one, funnily enough, I bought in uh, Ilkley. Now, I don't know if you know Ilkley in Yorkshire. It's a lovely, lovely wee town. And uh, Ilkley Moor uh, rises up above it. A great big hill, a moorland with sheep on it, rises above the town. And that's where the song came. Oh, nil glimmer, but that. Oh, nil glimmer, but that. Oh, nil glimmer, but that. And that's bat hat is just without your hat. Without your hat. And I, uh, I remember buying this bonnet and then I thought I'd have a light refreshment and I went into a hostelry and I put the bonnet on and I went, hey, hey, hope is Jack so done. <laughs> that tells you how long ago it was. What's your opinion about America waiting three years to join us in the Second World War? Ah, now, quite a bit of mystery about this, guys. There's, there's a bit more to that than, uh, than meets the eye. Um, I think Churchill manipulated Roosevelt into joining us, but there you go. Uh, that's shocking. It's frozen again, says Alec McCafferty. Tremendous number of people watching tonight, Alex, of course. The Lancaster to Leeds railway route runs through Ilkley. Yes, it does, Louis. You're a very, very intelligent man, sir, I have to say. A man after my own heart. You are a polymath. And I think, uh, now, does the Leeds to Liverpool canal run near to Ilkley? Check that one out. Another wee tune for the squeeze box before you exit the building, Scotty. Folk love it. The Tories have come up with a slogan for pensioners in their care homes. It goes, work sets you free. Oh my goodness, yes, that you used to see over the death camps. Work will make you free. Work will set you free. It's a cold night, you're freezing, Captain. Uh, did you get it from Oxfam in Ilkley? Says Roy Brownlow. I am man at Oxfam. Well, if something's good quality, why would you waste it? As my father used to say, now here's one for you, you can only wear one suit. Heather Gold Basmagian says, shared, shared, wonderful folks. Share, 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 share. And uh, tell everybody about this wonderful program on Facebook Live, which is a huge, huge platform. Very, very important. Um, what else have we got happening I have to tell you about? Oh, yes. Now, GoFundMe, if you uh, go on to GoFundMe, www.gofundme.com, and put in Scotty McClue, or you go forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue, or if you go on to Scotty's website, wwwscotty McClue.com, where 10 million people have already been on, you will see two links. One is for GoFundMe, and the other is for PayPal. And if you want to pop something in, because we're raising money in the hope of acquiring some media assets, and we need 275000 to uh, to set up the studios, and then we will look at purchasing media assets. But um, shove a few pounds in, folks, and um, it's been set intentionally low. You might think, what? Five million pounds away! You'll never get that! Yes, 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 yes. It's a, it's a small amount in terms of uh, big commercial thinking. Scotty, what's the first thing you ever won? Mine was the egg and spoon race, aged eight. I far from won the egg and spoon race. I made a terrible, terrible fool of myself and a fool of my wee companion because I could not get... Oh, no, the egg and spoon race was all right. This was the three-legged race because I was left-footed. Right, now don't start. But, uh, so they are. My internet's playing up, says Margaret Bonner. William Rose is watching. So, uh, no, no, the Egg and Spoon race. I think I did win an Egg and Spoon race because I was quite quick there. Um, am I right in thinking you did Sunday mornings on Radio 4th for a while, says Adam Enfuller. 4th to every Sunday morning for about two and a half years. Tremendous stuff. Wonderful, wonderful phone-in program in the morning. So tell everyone about that, Adam. And uh, also, lol, says Ian Walker. People think after Scotty left Scott FM, he'd left radio. Not at all. I've been in radio for 25 years. I did my last radio program uh, quite recently 
on a radio station. And uh, I got the sack from the sack race, says Roy Brownlow. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, yes, yes, of course I did Sunday mornings on Radio 4th. And uh, I also worked at Magic Radio, I worked at Hallam FM, I worked at TFM, I worked at Radio City, I worked at Century Radio in uh, Manchester, Century Radio in Newcastle, Century Radio in Nottingham, I worked at Talk Radio in London, um, I've, I've worked on all these stations. Scotty, you're opening the new bridge over the 4th, says Ian Walker. I haven't been asked, Ian, but if you want to suggest my name... I was telling you last week, I found out I'd been proposed, um, this is a while back, of course, as the rector for Stirling University. Uh, amazing. And the other two candidates were His Royal Highness Prince Edward and um, Banks, the author, uh, the wonderful Ian Banks. Dinky do, Scotty. Shall I do a hundred lines for being late? Certainly will. I must never miss the world's top talk show. Uh, Scotty. You've worked at B&Q, lol, says Hector. That'll be the phone then. There we are. Excuse me a wee second. Yes, just broadcasting at the moment. Thank you very much. So there we go. I'll just pop that back off. Marvellous stuff. Right, the Queen's got the flu. Um, yes, she has got the flu, poor thing, actually. It's a dreadful thing, especially when you're well into your 90s, 92. Scotty, I've worked at being cure, says Hector McGoobrin. I've washed up uh, dishes in an hotel. I was pot boy. Fantastic. Uh, what do you think of dementia, says Ronnie McPhee? It's a terrible thing. My uncle had it. And uh, latterly, um, when my aunt asked him, who am I? He said, the lady that lives in the house, and they'd been married for 50 years. It was heartbreaking. Um, so there you go. Uh, do you remember when Rudolf Hess crash landed in Eaglesham when flying to meet with Churchill in a secret location? He got taken to Githnock Police Station. Well, I don't know if he's going to meet with Churchill, but there was talk that he was going to meet the uh, late, late Duke of Hamilton. So the late Duke of Hamilton's father, the old Duke, um, and the markers who had been a uh, flyer as the markers of Douglas and Clydesdale. And uh, they, they, they say that uh, they, the, the Hamiltons were in Dungavel House, the detention centre now, they were in Dungavel House, and they had a landing strip. And they say that the landing lights were on that night when Hess landed. Now, if you work out the coordinates, I would say the speed of that aircraft, it was a Messerschmitt, I think it was a BF-110, so it wasn't an ME-110, and it wasn't an ME-19. It wasn't a fighter. It was a light bomber or a heavy fighter called a BF-110. And um, it, uh, it, it would have reached, I think, this is my calculations, Dungavel House in about three minutes from where it crashed. But uh, tell me if you think that. And then they took him to Giffnick Police Station, and then they took him over to Buchanan Castle. So there you are in Stirlingshire, just around uh, between Aberfoyle and uh, Drimmon. Scotty, let the butler answer the phone. That's what he's there for. Good evening, McClue Tarth. I am terribly sorry, but his lordship is broadcasting at the moment. Thank you. Good evening. Everyone should get a thick marker pen to write Scotty on their radios. Get Scotty back on the radio, says Roy. That was Facebook on the phone. It's the only way they can get in touch. <laughs> this is Ian Walker. Final five minutes of Scotty. Zop, zop, says Roy Brownlow. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. We've only got a few minutes left. I may give you another tune. And um, also, uh, what else? Would you like a tune? If, if time's tight, I'll give you a, a quick tune, shall I? See if I can get you a tune. <laughs> Uh, wow! 
You know, Grampian announced that his return, says Adam M. Fuller. Yes, used to close down Grampian Television. That's an end to our programmes for tonight. We hope you've enjoyed them. We'll be back at 9.25 in the morning. Until then, from all of us here, a safe and peaceful good night. Good night, all. Uh, so there you go, the famous Glasgow Rangers, says Louis Faber. Not at all, but not a water by the wall. The praise of Bob Beggy, the Ian Walker. Fantastic, brilliant tune, says Alex Carroll. Scotty, have you ever heard of the Nazi attack of Liberty Torch in 1916? I just learned of that in incident last week. I never got taught it in a history class, says John Paul Preston. Well, I teach history and have taught history, and I would have taught you all about that. Do you also know that at John Buchan's funeral in 1940, just along Oxford Street, an IRA bomb had gone off? That's interesting. In 1940. Um, that's a chin and a half, Scotty. Philip Sand says, I enjoyed that, Scotty, long time since I last heard you. Philip, dinky do, lovely to be with you. Mind and pull the plug out, or you'll flood the hoose, says Ian Walker. No, no, we stopped pulling the plug out. Uh, so we didn't weaken the sockets. No star, Scotty, says Julian Scott, down in Wales there, in uh, in Cymru. I say no star to you, Julian. Another great show, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. It's been a fantastic show, all due to you guys. Remember that. You are the people, and you make the show. And we're using Facebook Live as it should be used. It's a very, very fine broadcast platform, and uh, I can see it as the new television. Good night, Scotty. For all I got to see you, says Alec McCafferty. Oh, Alec, for goodness sake. Uh, you're simply the best, Scotty, says Alex Carroll. I thank you, Alex. So are you. Good night and two kisses, says Esther Hart. Now, remember, folks, I shall be joining you, of course, next week at 10 o'clock, God willing, weather permitting. I'll see you then, and I'll try and pop up and do you a wee promo. Make sure you watch this morning's promo and share it and share it. Everything. Keep sharing, guys. I know I keep telling you this, but this is the secret to the success of the program. And the more you share, the more we are building a fabulous voice for the people. That's what it's all about. I want the Scotty UK tour. Great show again, Scotty. You never disappoint, says John Paul Preston. John Paul, I would hope not, and I thank you for that. Can you wait till next week, Captain? Dinky doola says George Raffin. Dinky do to all of you. Great show, Scotty. This is Charles McLaughlin. I thank you, Charles, and I thank you for your kindness for donating to GoFundMe. All of you, stick something in to GoFundMe, seriously. Even a pound or two. And if you can't afford anything, share it. Go on to GoFundMe and share, share, share on Facebook. Fantastic. So that everybody can see it. Any special guest due to appear on your shows, says Louis Faber. Just yourself, Louis. I think we'll get you on, because I can see this. I look at television shows, and I think, Do you know, I think we should be doing that on Facebook Live. I really do. Um, ah, you'd be a rare rector, says Ian Walker. Yes, apparently somebody mucked up the paperwork, otherwise I would have been the rector of Stirling University. Very interesting. Uh, very fair to the students, of course, and uh, would, would make sure that the management got the messages as well. Night from Nottingham, says Roy. Dinky do me docks and love to Nottingham, I say. It's a very, very fine city. And uh, if you see the sheriff, tell him I'm asking for him and Robin Hood's looking for him. Cheers and thank you, Scotty. Dinky do, says James Michael Harvey. Fantastic. Great, says Peter Ewing. It has been really a wonderful program, folks. Although I say myself, I thoroughly enjoyed working with you all and chatting to you. And I hope we'll get together ere long, as they say. Night from London, old chap, says Louis. Yes, absolutely from Londinium, when the Romans were there, Louis. There's a moose loose about this house, and that's a tune to start us off next week, buddy, says Jim Stephen Gibb. I can't do the music. Of course, I need to get a license for the music. Oh, no, the light suit. Turnkey. Yes, do you remember we used to lock up the nut house? We used to uh, we used to give the orders out. Whose keys? McClue's keys. Pass McClue's keys. Lock up the red house. Uh, so absolutely, uh, lights out and turn the key. Right, that's it, folks. I'm off skate. 
Thank you so much for joining us. Have a wonderful week. Look after your dear selves. We'll all catch up at the same time next week, 10 o'clock sharp. Until then, this is Scotty McClue saying dinky do just for you. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of Winter Zane. Au revoir and a cheerio. ta -da, lovies. Take care of yourselves. Scotty McClue has left the building. Dinky-doo.